Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in today's session we are going to study one of the most important properties of any lubricant, especially liquid lubricants and that is oiliness. Oiliness is a property which is generally possessed by oils. In today's session we will see what exactly is oiliness and how it contributes to the other properties of lubricants. <music> So now what exactly is oiliness? Oiliness is a property which is acquired by certain lubricants which are generally oils. And these lubricants by the virtue of this property stay adhered to the surface. Now what do we mean by stay adhering to the surface? That means they stay stuck on the surface because of the oiliness. There are no standard tests or standard measures for oiliness. We can always feel oiliness. So if you touch water, you will feel that water is not oily because if you just touch it, there is no feeling on the hand. But if you touch an oil, you can feel an oily feeling because of that oil. Oil will try to stick to your skin. Oil tries to stick to your clothes if the oil has gone on your clothes. The property of sticking to a surface or othering to a surface is known as the property of oiliness. Now there are no standard means of finding out how to calculate oiliness of an oil. But there is one way and one property which helps us and that property is of specific gravity. Now what is specific gravity? Specific gravity is the ratio of the density of that particular substance to the ratio of the corresponding substance. For example, I have oil which is on the surface of my hand. So if I put an oil drop on the surface of my hand, I'll see the density of that oil and the density of my hand. Now what is density of that oil? Density is nothing but the molecules which are present in that oil drop upon the density of the hand. This is known as specific gravity and this is only property by which we can actually measure the oiliness of a substance. Now this oiliness can be measured with respect to specific gravity. That means lower the specific gravity, higher the oiliness of oil. Lower the density, higher the oiliness. So again oiliness is measured in terms of specific gravity. And lower the specific gravity, more will be the oiliness. Now do we want the oiliness of the oil to be more or less depends on our personal use. It depends on the utility of the oil. If we want to use oil as a lubricating substance in a form of a grease, then yes, we want that oil to be more oily. Then less oily oil, that means oil having less oiliness is also fine. Now this property of oiliness which is possessed by oils can be changed by human intervention. That means we can add some anti-wear agents to increase the oiliness of oil. Most of the oils which are used as lubricants in heavy machineries are because of the anti-wear agents present in the oil. Anti-wear agents are those agents which enhance the oiliness of the oil. That means if I have an oil sample with certain amount of oiliness in it, that oiliness will be enhanced by the anti-wear agents which we add in. And because of that enhanced oiliness, this lubricant now can be used into machines which have heavy wear and tear and good amount of friction. Now where is this property of oiliness being used? We understood what oiliness is, how much oiliness is needed but where it is being used. Oiliness is the property by virtue of which the oil can maintain a film between two or more parts of a machine and because of that maintenance of a film between two or more parts of the machine that film will help in maintaining the friction levels as well. That means if I have a machine surface over here and I have applied oil to it and there's another machine surface on it and they are in friction. That means there is oil in the middle which will help to reduce the friction. How will oil help in reduction of the friction? It's because of the property of oiliness. Oiliness will make a film in the middle and make sure that this friction happens but the friction is reduced. That means less friction happens because of the property of oiliness. Now this property of oiliness is possessed more by vegetable oils, animal oils, vegetable and animal fats. And the property of oiliness is much lesser in mineral oils, petrols, diesels, etc. And thus vegetable oils and animal oils are used more as lubricating agents than the mineral oils. 
So over here in today's topic, we studied about one of the most important properties of oil and that property is known as oiliness. We studied what exactly is oiliness. In which oils we get more of oiliness that is vegetable oil, animal oil, vegetable fat, animal fat. And in which oils we get less of oiliness that is mineral oils. We also studied the utility of it and how it is useful for different machines. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikira and subscribe to Ikira.